In part one of this series, we explored in general what a person needs to do on a regular basis to get to the top of the search engine rankings for their chosen keyword phrases. Now, let's see what we as Apex Business Partners have done with XGen SEO. I'm sure you'll be impressed with the results. And then, we'll take a close look at this amazing social marketing software and show you how to use it properly. Remember, all software from Apex Pacific is free to try, so you can prove this for yourself and download a copy from apexpacific.com.
Let's get straight to it and see how we obtain such great results using XGen SEO. Firstly, download your free to try version of the software from our site, gelwebpromotion.com, or from Apex Pacific at apexpacific.com. Let's use the keyword phrase ducted vacuum system and the website we've previously shown, which we designed and optimized using XGen SEO. After downloading and installing the software, you'll be greeted with this dashboard or user interface. Don't be deceived by its apparent simplicity, there's a lot of detail to cover on how to use the software properly, which will make a big difference to your search engine rankings. Over the next few minutes, we'll look generally at XGen's features, and in our next video, we'll explore in depth just how it'll drive traffic to your site. The very first thing to do is to set the software up for Windows Explorer. If you use another browser, apply these settings or simply dedicate the use of Windows Explorer for XGen SEO exclusively. Uh, that's what I do. I do use other browsers, but I use Windows Explorer for XGen SEO. Uh, go to the dashboard, go to File, top left, Configuration. Click to read the help manual, and once you've read the help manual, tick the checkbox below it and press the next button. You'll be told if you have a suitable version of Windows Explorer. When you do, tick the checkbox that confirms you have version Internet Explorer 7 or higher and click Next. And note that then there will be two sets of instructions in front of you. The top one, the first one, it's written in bold. It says Turn Off Security Warning Pop-Up Box. And the, the section beneath it, also in bold, says Turn Off Script Debugging Warning Pop-Up Box. Okay. So follow the instructions step by step. Firstly, open Explorer, go to Tools, Internet Options, Security, and select the Security tab. Click the Custom Level button, and then go to the Miscellaneous section. See the Display Mixed Content checkbox to Enable. And the last point, point number seven, set the submit non-encrypted form data to enable. In fact, they may already be enabled, but you're just going through this process to double check. Now, in the same way, follow the same instructions or these, the instructions for turn off script debugging warning pop-up box. Okay, that's the second lot of instructions for you on the same, on the same page. Finally, tick the checkbox to say that you have completed this step and you're done. Press the finish button and then you'll be greeted with the dashboard and can commence to properly use the software. The, this menu items up here, well you, you already know we've been to the dashboard um, and you've got the where we went to the configuration. You've got the preferences here. Um, pretty much these, this top menu, most of the things in this top menu are actually so for example, article, create an article, research article ideas, view or edit article, you've got the same thing here. Create an article, research, edit and view, etc. So, I mean, I go here for the submission and analysis report. Um, so that's pretty much the one I use the most myself. So that once you have actually gone through this whole process here and actually submitted content to various content networks, you will then want to see a report either for yourself or to give to a client uh, to show them just what your activities have been and so they can see the link building strategy in process. So the very first thing we need to do here is go to number one, create a account campaign. So I've actually already created one so I won't do it again. And we look up here, it's called Gippsland Vacuums One and I've nicknamed it Gip Fax. You may recall in the previous video that we're using gippslandvacuums.com.au as our example because that particular site uh, is one of many, but it's one that's on page one of Google uh, by using this software. So we're continuing to show you how this was achieved. So we've already created an account. Um, you would do the same. So you would just simply call it whatever you wanted, um, my new account, and the account name, you could give it um, starter. You know, you could call it a starter campaign, uh, okay? You might want to call it boost starter, whatever you like. Once that's done, uh, then you'll want to set up some emails to which when you sign up for these accounts, you'll need to have an email sent to you to verify 
uh, as you're aware of course you'll need to nominate your identity and your email address and so on for the various accounts that will be signed up to. Now the beauty of this software is it will actually auto generate uh, a profile for you. For example, there you go, Joseph Williams uh, or Daniel Campbell or Kari Morin. Uh, when you use this, just be careful that you make sure that the gender of the, of the identity actually matches the name. Uh, so this software does need a little bit of monitoring by yourself. It's not set and forget. Uh, it would be crazy if it was because there's certain things here that you have to keep an eye on, um, but it will save you heaps of time. So you've got the choice here now of allowing the software to create a new Yahoo email account for you, or if you don't want to auto-generate uh, an email account, uh, you can actually take this option here, use your business POP3 mail server. Uh, so you can configure that instead. Now in here, you can simply put your own email address, uh, your own username, the one that you would normally access email from your desktop computer, and you can test that account setting there as well. And uh, when you go, when the software signs up to the various social media sites, uh, it will send a, a confirmation email into your inbox. However, uh, be aware that when you do this, you might end up with 100 emails every single time you, you start a new campaign. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, I do use it on occasions, and I'll explain why in a later video, but uh, a lot of the time, most of the time, we use this facility here. Once you've done that, um, then you can put in the, your actual website and you can have the software load the information from the site. So it'll load the title, Ducted Vacuum System. So that's the key word that we were chasing. Um, Premier Melbourne Business Specialising in Ducted Vacuum Systems again. We've got the keyword in the title and the description and the keywords uh, in the site of talk as well in the, in the main keyword meta tag area. Now you can actually change this if you want to. If you do have an actual hyperlink for a blog, uh, you can put that URL there as well. Finally, make sure you've selected the correct category uh, for the business that you're promoting, okay, the website that you're promoting. Go next, and we've created a, an account, we've created an email uh, address, and now we're going to sign up to various social media sites so that you can create and send content to promote the keyword phrase, which will be the anchor text in the relevant articles, which will ultimately create links back to your website. All right, so we go social site account creation. Now, in this case, uh, I've already created a number of them here. I'm going to create some more to show you how the software works. Uh, but you can see here that we have a choice here we can select all the accounts or we can select blog sites. All right, so here's a list of blog sites that are ticked here. Uh, and then we can uncheck that or we can simply go article sites. So let's uncheck them all, unselect all, and now let's look at article sites. So now only the article sites are checked. Uh, so you can actually uncheck certain ones of these here and send your content to specific article directories. And I do this quite a lot because, I'll give you an example. See the site here, Thoughts. Okay, let's click on it and have a look just what it is. Now, if you're promoting, for example, as we are in this case, ducted vacuum systems, a central vacuum cleaning system, um, we don't consider that this website here is really appropriate. Uh, it's really kind of more of a philosophical website uh, so we, we really don't want to put content that's not relevant or not that relevant to the site. So we don't promote to that site. Um, and I think that it pays to keep this in mind that in the end, uh, even though the software will save you time, at the end of the day, you still have to create quality uh, information and it needs to really be sitting on a relevant website to your site in order for the search engines to take notice of it and rank you accordingly. So. I don't advise that you just tick all these checkboxes and spam the, all the directories out there because uh, it's not really doing them any good, and nor you. Try and send the content to the places where, where it belongs, all right? Uh, so let's just sign up to a few of these automatically so you can see.
All right, let's say we've created all these accounts now. The next thing we want to do is to validate the accounts. So do you want to verify the accounts after account validation? If you choose yes, the program will try to log into each account to verify the account that it's been successfully created. It does warn us, however, that this process may take a couple of hours depending on the number of accounts that have to be created. So in this case, I'm going to say no, we don't want to verify them, um, but we do want to validate them. All right, so it will now uh, attempt to log into each one of these accounts and validate it. So I won't go through that process either. However, you'll see here accounts that have actually been verified. So these accounts have been verified and email has been sent and the, the email response has been initiated. Verified sites. Uh, also, you can see here activated. So this has been activated but not verified. And on these attempts here, one, two, three, three occasions there, the actual login failed. So this could be something to do with uh, server side. Uh, the, the actual website might be undergoing maintenance or um, the software may not have been able to resolve the spam capture. So you'll be able to do that manually uh, when you go through the process again a little bit later. Okay, once that's done, you're ready to start creating and submitting content. Um, and the next thing to do then is to create a new article. So before you do that, you can actually research some article ideas. So let's just say now we want some article ideas about ducted vacuum systems. So ducted vacuum systems, put that in there. And let's just see what the program will come up with to inspire us with some ideas. Okay, a couple of minutes has gone by. Uh, I just paused the video and then just started it now. It's been about two minutes and it's come up with all this information. What size vacuum should be used? Uh, the role of duct cleaning. Vacuum dryer for industry. Uh, duct cleaning questions answered and so on. There's quite a lot of articles here and the author and the category that they're in, home improvements. So now with this information, you can combine these ideas with your own unique content and create an article. So you can add one of these articles, for example, to the add the article to the article repository. So you can add that in there to give you some inspiration later. Okay, I've already created an article here, which in fact's already been promoted, uh, and we can show you what this looks like. So let's preview the article. My vacuum cleaner is pathetic. I wish you were a central vacuum system. So, you know, it's a bit of a, um, a lighthearted look at at ducted vacuum systems and we've got another version of this article so if I click the next spin button you'll see that my vacuum cleaner is hopeless I wish you were a ducted vacuum system or if I click it again um, my vacuum cleaner sucks I wish you were a ducted vacuum system there is various different titles um, that have been created and various different content here with our anchor text our keyword text being in this case central vacuum system once all these items have been ticked, then your article is ready for submission. You can then get, press the finish button and submit the article to wherever you want to send it to the various content networks. So in summary, let's see what we've done so far. We've created a user profile for the purposes of this software. Uh, we have then created an email account um, generated by the software. Although we are aware we have the option to use our own POP3 mail server account as well if we want to. We've also used this information to create social media accounts and we've validated and verified those accounts. We are now in the process of creating content and we're learning how to use the spinner capability of the article creator. In our next video, we'll show you how to submit these articles to the content networks.